Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a cute little kitten. So the first step is we're gonna start to draw a circle, but not quite finish the whole thing. So here we go. I'm gonna start my circle. Ooh. And notice I just kind of left the head. This is gonna be the head of our cat. And I didn't connect it there. It's almost like a U shape, but a little more curved. So you draw your almost circle. Then we're gonna draw the ears and it's gonna be two triangles. I'm gonna start it right at this point where I stopped my, my O, my circle, and I'm gonna draw it back so that it can touch back onto the circle. So I draw it up and back onto the circle. Up, back. Then we're gonna do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna go up and back. Make sure it touches both sides of the circle. Now we're gonna do the same thing, another triangle shape that's a little bit bigger over the top of it to overlap. So I'm gonna start out here. Notice I'm not connecting it to a line. I'm just kind of starting from thin air. I'm floating it, ooh. But then I go back and touch the circle. And then the same thing over here. So a bigger triangle that starts over here on nothing and goes back to the circle. That's some very big ears. Yours might be smaller. <laughs> okay, then I'm just gonna connect those two lines for the rest of the head. Connect my two ears, kind of a curvy line. There's our cute little cat head. Next is just gonna be the eyes. They'll be super simple. Two easy little dots that you can color in. Depending on how adorable you want him to look, you can make his eyes kind of bigger, like whoosh, or smaller. I did kind of medium sized eyes. The nose is going to be just a little upside down triangle. Doop. You can color that in too. And then we want some whiskers. I'm going to do three whiskers. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's our three whiskers. Now we're going to make our cat sitting down because it's a nice easy pose to draw. So we're just going to start a little bit below the head and we're going to draw um, kind of a curvy line, almost like a T, the top of a T, but slightly curved. Not quite a U, just the top of a T. And then we're going to add the bottom of the T. So it's a T with a curve upward. Now we're going to add that's going to be like the in-between of his two feet, so we need to add the legs on this side. They're just going to start right at the bottom of this T and curve up, but not touch the head, just about there. So it curved up, and it's still floating. We're still not touching our head. Then the same on this other side. We're going to curve it, start it at that little, at the bottom of our T and curve it up. Okay, the last section is nice and simple. We're gonna start a line right at the side of his cheek there. Make sure it's on the, the other side of his leg. We're gonna start that line and just curve it and touch a little above his foot there. Boop. So he's just kind of, he's sitting and chilling. You can't see his back feet or anything because they're behind these ones. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Start up, up at the cheek and you go down to a little bit above the paw. Um, let's make his feet look like paws. We can just add some little lines down here, little straight lines. One, two, maybe a third one, three. Those are his claws. One, two, three. And then the last thing we need so that he really looks like a cat is a tail. You can choose where you want his tail to be. It's just gonna be a curvy line. I'm gonna make it go up like this but you could have it like curved around so that it's resting on the ground or you could put it on the other side wherever you want to put it but the basic shape is just a straight well a curvy line and then you curve it the same on the other side and connect them at the top with a little round rainbow line ta-da there's our cute little kitten now that you have your cat you just want to add a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. Right now it looks like he's kind of in the middle ground, right? Because he's in the middle of our 
paper so there could be some more things in the front that are bigger and closer and there could be some things in the back so you get to choose do you want your kitty to be inside sitting on a couch relaxing watching some tv and if so where would you put everything would he be sitting on a couch would there be a kitchen in the background or some artwork hanging on the wall would there be a rug down here maybe you want your kitty to be outside and you could draw i don't know a pond and some trees in the background or maybe he's playing with some other kitties or maybe he's in the kitchen getting into trouble finding some food you choose what kind of scene you want to make for your cat